Hello, this is MakerJ1, and here's a little rig that I built. Um, it's just, it's a capacitor, so I've got a piece of glass on the bottom just to um, insulate it so that it doesn't corona discharge or whatever. So then I have another piece of aluminum on top of that, and then a piece of plexiglass. Now I, and then I have another piece of aluminum on top of that. So this piece here is connected to ground through this wire, and then this one would be the high voltage, the middle one there, or the bottom one. So... I have the piece of plexiglass cause, just because it's a little bit thinner and I get a better um, better charge with the plexiglass. Um, but So what what I built this for is to, I'm not really sure what it's called, but Mongrel Shark told me that if you take a capacitor and charge it up and then um, disassemble it, so separate the plates, there will be no charge. So you can short it out and you won't get any charge or maybe very tiny bit but then if you put them back together you can have a, a still some energy left in it and that's because the electrons are somehow stored on the dielectric and that's the plate that um, separates them so I thought that was a pretty cool effect um, and I have it working here but one other thing that I found is with the plexiglass it actually when you lift up the plate and put it back down, it actually creates a charge. And I have a really sensitive um, analog meter right here. And it seems as though when I lift it up, it creates a negative voltage. And when I set it down, it does a positive voltage. And that's not charging. That's just the, um, like, I forget what you call it. But it's like a um, fanograph generator or something like that, the way it so I'm making a static charge there. So, but I actually f figured that out that I was doing that because what I had at first was I had this little neon and this is connected to ground. When you connect this up to here, the neon would actually let me set the camera down here for oh dear. Drop the camera almost. Get it stay on the stand here. Okay. So actually, when you would, I figured out that it was making a positive and negative voltage before I even tested it with that, because the neon was actually half of it would light up with a positive voltage, and half of it would light up with a negative voltage. So when I would do this, when I would lift it up and set it back down, oh dear, the camera's not focusing. Hopefully you can see that, I don't know. This camera takes a while to focus. But when you lift it up and set it down, it lights up different portions of the bulb. So when you have an, so if you flip the neon around um, in a circuit, it's going to light up on one side more than the other side. I just thought that was kind of cool. Um, but so I'll show you the um, uh, charging it up and discharging it now. So let me set this up here. Okay, so we'll turn on the five volt power supply, charge it up, and I have it on five volts, so it's not very good. So it's not real big because if I have it on 12 volts, it arcs over, it jumps from there to there. So we'll just charge it up, and I'll show you what the um, arc looks like or what the neon when I. So little spark there. Okay. So, okay, so we'll charge it up. Okay, we'll turn off the power supply. Put that down here. And then we can, and it actually sticks there. It's kind of hard to get it to peel off. So that's separated. So I'll just set the ground plate over here for now. And we'll take this and there won't be any charge in it. There's no charge in it. Um, and then if we take the plate and we put it back on, it sticks. It sticks to the... And we should have a charge. There we go. A little spark. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. I'll do it one more time. So we turn on the power supply. Whoop. Oh, I'm having a short over here. So charge it up. Good enough. Whoop. Gosh, hook there. <laughs> Turn off the power supply, and then lift up the plate. 
put it back down so yeah it sticks still so that's how you kind of know that you have a charge still left in it um, and then we'll have a little spark so yeah I thought that was pretty cool um, thank you to mongrel shark for um, posting that comment um, so yeah go check out his channel um, so yeah I just thought that was a pretty cool effect um, I do want to try um, instead of using the plexiglasses for the dielectric I want to try oil because if the electrons are actually getting stored on the dielectric and if I use oil I'm thinking that the oil won't separate the electrons and they should be able to move around so if I take the dielectric out of the oil or I mean the um, um, the plate, one of the plates out of the oil, and then put it back in, there shouldn't still be a charge left in, but I'm not sure. Um, so if anybody has a, anything to say about that, um, post it. Um, I also just got some alum today, so I should be able to, uh, so I'm going to make some uh, lead batteries, um, lead alum batteries sometime, so that should be cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.